welcome to my channel. So today I filmed my go-to everyday look. Um, so if you like what you just saw, then keep on watching. Um, so first I take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in medium brown. And I just begin outlining my brow. So I do the tail edge first when I have more product on my brush. Then I fill it in a little bit. And then when I have less product on my brush, I go towards the front of my brow and gently fill that in. Now I take this Essence Eyebrow Stylus set. I have no idea which colour this is in, it's not on there. Um, but I just take that lighter shade towards the front of my brow, doing small upward strokes and just filling that in. And then I take the darker shade and I just fill in any gaps that I've missed on the tail of my eyebrow there. The brush I'm using is the Zoeva 317 Wing Liner Brush. Um, next I take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Light 1 Chantilly. I'm taking that on a random Napoleon brush. I have no idea what it is, everything's rubbed off. But, you know, it's doing the job. So I just tidy up under my brows and then I take the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and just use that as my eyeshadow base. And I'm just gonna go over that with my Damp Beauty Blender just to even it all out. The brush kind of put it on a little bit messy. But then I'm gonna set that with the lightest shade from my Too Faced Chocolate Palette. The shade is called White Chocolate. Just pack that on there. Then I'm going to use the Anastasia Modern Renaissance, the shade Golden Ochre, and I'm going to take that into my crease. Next, I'm going to grab the Venetian Red shade. This shade is just amazing, so I'm just going to put that on the outer corner. What you want to do is just pack the colour on and then blend it out, pack it on, blend it out, pack it on, blend it out until you're happy with the result. So the two brushes I'm using, the brush to pack the colour on, I'm using the 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. And just to shade it, I'm using the 227 Luxe Soft Definer Brush. So then I go in with the orange shade and just put that next to the red shade, pack it on, blend it out, pack it on, blend it out, you guys get what I'm doing here. Also, if you could let me know your thoughts on this video, what you like, what you don't like, That'd be awesome as well. I'm always down for any feedback. Then I go back in with that very light shade from the Too Faced Chocolate Palette and I just pack that all over the lid. Then I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Sun Dipped in the shade Summer to highlight under my brow. And then I'm going to use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Don't even judge my liner what I'm doing here. It completely failed. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take my Hangover Primer. This stuff is amazing and I'm finally onto the favourite part of my face. I love doing the whole foundation. It just, it's amazing. I'm using my all-time favourite Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover. The shade that I'm using is 3W1 Tawny. It's for when I'm more tanned, so don't judge. Obviously, it looks a lot darker than my face right now, but I'm completely white. So I had a bit of fake tan on. So I just pack that all over my face, put little dots everywhere, and then I'm going to blend that out. I'm using my Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush. This stuff is seriously amazing. I do dance competitions and I can put it on at 6am and it still is on perfectly by midnight. As most of you also know, this is my first ever YouTube video. So if you guys could leave a comment down below on what video you would like to see next, that would be amazing. Next, I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I use the shade Very Fair. It's always good to get a lighter one so that it highlights under your eyes. And the thing I don't like about this concealer is it doesn't really cover anything as such, but it does highlight well. So I just also place that down my nose, on the edges of my nose, above my cupid's bow, my chin, and on my forehead. And then I'm going to blend that out with my Damp Beauty Blender. Then I'm going to take my Australis Fresh Flawless Pressed Powder in the shade Nude and I put that on my Beauty Blender and set that under my eyes and where I just place the concealer.
then I'm going to use the same powder on my Zoeva 106 powder brush and just set my face. Now for lashes, um, normally I do apply mascara first but today I'm going to do it around the other way and just see how it works out. So I just got these lashes from eBay and the lash glue that I'm using is the Ardell Lash Grip Adhesive so that's a clear one. Next I'm going to take the Matte Give Me Sun and I'm using that on my 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush by Zoeva. I absolutely love this product. I've only had it for a couple of weeks now and it is seriously so amazing. The colour, the pigment, it's just beautiful. And I probably pack on a lot more than what I should but you know, why not? Next I use that same golden ochre shade from before and I apply that underneath my lash line. So you just kind of want to blend it out, not pack it on too much, just blend it out nice. And then I'll grab that Venetian red and just apply that underneath the lash line as well. I seriously cannot get over this colour, like the pigment payoff is just so amazing and the colour is just so pretty. I'm kind of doing things in a really weird order today, I don't know why. Then I'm going to highlight with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped Palette and I'm using the shade Moonstone so I just apply that on my cheeks there. I apply it down my nose, my cupid's bow, on my chin and on my forehead. Next I'm going to take my Rimmel Volume Mascara Flash Times 10. I This has been my favourite since school. Um, I clearly stuffed up just then so I go off camera and fix my face and now I'm back. We're just applying that to the top lashes. And then I'll apply that same mascara just to the lower lashes. Then I'm going to grab my Kylie Coco K lip liner and just outline my lips and then fill them in. Then I'm going to take the liquid lipstick and apply that. I just like to pat my lips just before it's dry. It seems to just get rid of the excess product so it's not too cakey. Um, normally I would leave it with the matte lipstick on its own but today I just wanted a little bit of gloss. I use the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in Stripped. This is my absolute favourite gloss. It is just so pretty. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my first video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching.